Hello and welcome back to Decato Mods in a very wet, blustery England. Today, we're going to show you how I finally managed to tint all the windows, all the plexiglass windows on my motorhome. Let's see how it's done. As I mentioned, four months ago, I miserably failed. So I'm off to Torquay today, 28 miles away from myself, to get a professional to tint these windows. Halfway through the installation, I got a little bit nervous when it started pouring down with rain and I had no windows. I just had some plastic sheeting there. And this was the video I talked about. Absolute waste of my life. At least it's done properly now. Here's a quick recap of the benefits of window tinting, which I'm sure you'll already know. But for me, the main one was privacy. I was sick and tired of people trying to take photos, peering inside when I was relaxing. It just didn't work. Uh, I've not actually had any summertime in this motorhome. I don't know how hot it gets, uh, but it's going to be beneficial for that. And also, there's a lot of furnishings in here. They do fade after a long time. So I'm hoping it might just keep the, the furnishings in nicer condition. That's if the kids don't destroy them with chocolate. What product are we using today? Well, it's a very special product. This has been imported from America and it is just for acrylics. I have got plexiglass on my motorhome, so I really, really need that. If I use normal window tint, it would crack, craze, and it would deteriorate fast. And apparently it's got microscopic holes in it to release the heat from the plexiglass. Let's get to the really interesting bit before and after. Look at the difference once again. Before clearly see through there and after complete privacy and before and after of a close-up through the van and after look at the difference what a difference before once again and after what a result here's the side view of the van originally when i purchased it clearly see through all the windows no privacy let's have a look of what it looks like now look at the contrast the black and white i'm going for the black and white theme this was the final piece of the jigsaw for me i think you can agree it does look better as well as offering other benefits and around the other side just to show you the complete 360 angle of uh, what we've installed looking good so how does it look from the inside now i've gone darker well it's the same light conditions outside as the other day before i filmed and you can clearly see outside still apart from the raindrops so let's just pan down here that is how it looks from the inside now one minor snag that i had you can see there's a hole there and if you look down the plastic is stuck in between the windows and it just it's stuck there i'm not going to try and bend it or flex it to drop it down uh, but that was the only snag that i've had if you look on this side here it's kind of still in there i'm guessing it's just to make it breathable in hot weather now one one strange thing i have noticed is it actually feels like i've got a light on because these are now darker and the, the upper roof is still fully bright, it kind of feels like I've got a light on. It's really weird to describe. And that is it for today, Decato Mods. Really hope you enjoyed the, the guide on how we did the tinting. We finally did it after four months of frustration. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Plenty more of action coming very soon.